Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a potty training video because um, if you guys don't know, the past uh, week or so we have been potty training. I have a two-year-old son. He's two years and five months. I mean, he's a bit more than that, so he's almost two and a half now. Um, and we have successfully potty trained. Um, I was kind of unsure whether he was ready or not, but I was really surprised at how well he did. So I think a few of the things that I did really helped, but also I think he was really prepared for it as well. So I thought today I would share with you the process, what we did, what worked, what didn't, um, and just kind of a few tips that I have learned along the way. A lot of you have been messaging me on Instagram about it as well, so I thought it was a really good video to make just to kind of answer a lot of your questions. I have posted a poll um, or like a question uh, box there on Instagram and a lot of you sent me your questions so I'm going to answer those today as best as I can. Today's video is also in collaboration with my friend Mary. Um, if you guys don't know, we have collaborated before. Um, she's a really good mommy friend of mine on here. She, I think her channel name is With Love Mary um, and she has three children. She has two older girls and then one a little boy, uh, James, who's around Victor's age as well. And they're also potty training um, and they're doing really well as well. And I think she has probably a bit more advice to give you than I do, uh, just because she has potty trained three kids instead of one. So she can also give you kind of a perspective on how it is to potty train girls versus boys. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see her tips, I'm sure she has plenty of good ones. Or if you just want to see like mommy content, um, vlogs, day in the life, cleaning videos, cooking videos, she has really great recipes as well. I will link her channel down below so you can go check it out. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this potty training video. I have filmed a live potty training update for the first three days that we did potty training just because I wanted to kind of show you the beginning and kind of what we did to start out. So if you want to see those, I have three vlogs um, from the first three days, so I will link those down below as well. A few questions that I got were um, how I knew it was time to start potty training and also if this was my first time potty training, like my first attempt. Um, yes, this was my first attempt. I've never tried it before just because I didn't feel like he was ready up until now. And to be honest, I was kind of waiting. I actually think I had in mind this thought that it would be easier to potty train during the summer months, which now that I think about it, I'm not sure if it is. I think it's the same, to be honest. So now that we're in lockdown at home, socially isolating, I figured this is gonna be the perfect time to potty train. And to be completely honest, I didn't know he was ready. I'm not sure, like I, I have read the signs that they're ready, like when they start telling you um, they need to go and Victor wasn't telling me beforehand. He would tell me after he went, <laughs> for example, poop in his nappy, but not beforehand. Um, so he wouldn't really tell me when he needs a wee because I think when they do it in a nappy, they don't really feel it that much. They, it doesn't really bother them. So why would he tell me that? He was really interested in us going on the big toilet. Um, but other than that, I don't think there were a lot of signs. So I figured, okay, I'm just gonna give it a go. My initial plan was I'm gonna give it a go for a week. And if I see that he's really resisting the potty or if he's really uncomfortable and doesn't like it, then I'm just gonna call it quits and try again in a few months. Um, so that was my initial plan. But after a few days, he progressed so much and he has been doing so well ever since. He's pretty much fully potty trained now. So I'm really happy that I gave it a go. But honestly, if you are unsure, I would say just give it a go for a few days to a week. And if they really don't like it, they, if they really resist it, maybe just try again another time because they might not be ready. And I do think it's really important for them to be ready. It's just going to make the process so much easier. I have seen a lot of people potter train kids a lot older or a lot younger. And I don't think there's a right age for everyone because kids are different. Every child is different. Um, and if you want to potty train really early, that's fine. If you want to potty train a lot later, that's also fine. They will all get it eventually. So I think if you make it a less stressful experience as much as you can, um, it's going to be easier on you and on them as well. What I would say is I really wanted to wait until he could talk properly, like really tell me, mommy, I need a pee, mommy, I need a poo, mommy, I need a potty, because uh, before they start talking, it's probably a lot harder for them to tell you. Um, but they probably can just show you the potty or maybe you can do sign language. I know some people do that. As far as the potty training essential must-haves that we have, to be honest, I only have one potty. <laughs> That's the only thing that we have um, and that we have bought for potty training. The one that we have looks like a big 
toilet which i think is really funny and he, i think he likes it because it obviously looks like the one that we use so he likes to copy us in that way um but i don't think you need that i think you can use any type of potty you can actually potty train straight on the big toilet if you want just use kind of like an adapter for that um and i actually have ordered off amazon um an adapter for the big toilet because i think our next step is going to be potty training on the big toilet and i also ordered a foldable one so that i can put it in my bag when we go somewhere obviously it's not the case right now because we're at home all day but when uh, we do get out of quarantine i will need a foldable one to take with us i will link those down below as well they haven't arrived yet but um they will probably very soon so that's kind of what i got for potty training and then i also got some stickers you can do any type of stickers i just bought some stars um and i just made a potty chart which i actually just drew a little potty on a piece of paper stick it on the wall or a piece of furniture or something and they can just stick their little stars whenever they go that worked really really well for victor I actually got questions about if I read any books. I have looked into a few potty training methods like the oh crap method and um, just a few other ones but none of them really resonated with me. None of them really felt like were right for Victor like 100%. So I think I took some tips from here and there but I didn't really follow one particular method so before starting potty training i would actually just let him like he would always come into the bathroom with us with myself and my husband maybe a bit tmi but you know it's what kids do um you don't really go to the toilet alone now do you <laughs> so he would just come in he would i would tell him you know mommy's going pee pee on the big potty you're gonna do that soon because you're a big boy so i just kind of tried to prepare him for that and i also got um books from the library when it was open obviously now the libraries are closed um but you can find potty training books on amazon as well we used to go on a weekly basis to the library so every time we went i would get one potty training book because i wanted him to kind of see pictures read about it get him kind of familiar with the whole concept so how i started first of all uh, we read some books about potty training that morning just because i kind of wanted him to have a you know refresh about all of that I put out the sticker chart, I kind of showed him the potty, we took the potty out in the living room, I also took the rug out from the living room because I expected a lot of accidents which they did happen. And then I took off his nappy and I told him well now when you do need to go on a pee pee you will go on the potty. Obviously at first he didn't know what to do, completely to be expected, so I would prompt him every, I think I at first I did every 20 to 30 minutes and after a while I realized it was too soon for him like he would go he would sit on the potty but nothing would happen so um what i realized after a while is that um for him what works best is if i prompt him every hour so if i did that he would sit on the potty and he would actually go so it was really so much better um like that i think 30 minutes was way too soon for him so i think maybe just experiment a bit with your child and see kind of what time frame works for you. I also got a question, do you leave him with pants or underwear? Well, my initial plan was to leave him naked from the <laughs> waist down. He didn't like that. And like, um, understandably, because it's quite, like, I wouldn't say it's cold, uh, but it's still like springtime and it's not super warm. And um, the, we have hardwood floors in the living room. So obviously he would sit on that and it would be too cold. So he wanted to have um, pants on and I would just leave him with trousers not underwear so just trousers on um, because it's just a lot easier to pull off and he was fine with that so I think just kind of adapt depending on what your child likes uh, when we do go outside I put underwear on him and trousers obviously but around the house I'm fine with him having only trousers on um, and he much prefers that as well I also got questions about if he is resisting sitting on the potty and how I kind of got him to sit on it because some kids will um, you know really not want to do that um, so what I did with Victor first of all um, I think he wasn't too reluctant at first but what I did to help him is I gave him a few stickers in the beginning for just sitting on the potty just because I wanted to encourage uh, him to do that so he really responded well to that he really liked getting the stickers and then what I also did is I would play a little song on YouTube it's called um, the potty song from little baby bum it's like a panda going on the potty it's really um, cute and he loved that song so whenever I would tell him oh do you want to put the panda song on the potty he would instantly go to the potty sit on it and we would put the song on 
and it's only about a minute long so it's not like he's watching a lot of screen time and he loved that so he would go just to be able to watch <laughs> I, can hear, I can hear my toddler screaming he's with my husband so he would sit on the potty at first just to be able to watch that uh, little song and he loved it um, and then once he was on the potty and the song was finished we would just do uh, activities together we would play uh, with puzzles we would play with play-doh just anything to get him to sit on the potty and i would put his little table in front of him um so that's kind of what we did in the beginning and the thing is i read things like you shouldn't give rewards you shouldn't um you know put songs like this on for them because they, then they will ask for it every single time and let me tell you he has asked for it in the beginning when he was just getting used to it and now um, we are more than a week into potty training and he doesn't ask for it anymore he just says mommy pee pee on the potty he goes on the potty and that's it so it's a lot faster and he obviously once they get it you don't need all of those things so it's just in the beginning to get them kind of used to the idea of going on the potty. So as I said in the beginning he would just sit on the potty, nothing would happen and then after a while I think he got a little bit more relaxed and he would actually go in the potty. So I think um, the hardest thing for me was to be really patient and be really positive and uplifting and make him feel um, you know confident and um, he had loads of accidents the first day, he had accidents the second day and I think the third day he only had one tiny one if I can remember correctly because we didn't get to the potty in time but he did tell me that he needed to go so after that, after the fourth day he had no accidents, none he just went, he would tell me mommy I need to go on potty, mommy I need a pee pee um, so he's doing so so good I honestly did not expect that I thought it would take a lot longer so I think it depends on the child, it depends if they're ready or not. When he did have an accident, I would just say something like, uh oh, you had an accident, that's okay. You know, accidents happen, but next time when you need to go pee pee, you go on the potty. And I would just tell him that, and I would say, you know, if you go pee pee on the potty, you will get a star sticker. So just kind of making it exciting, but not shaming them for accidents, because I think that's not. You know, it's just going to make them feel bad and it's not going to help. So obviously, I wouldn't be upset about accidents. I would just kind of um, clean them up, change him and it would be fine. Um, so I think the first few times he was like really uh, not sure of what was going on. But the, the, I think that's the whole point of them feeling themselves go. So that's the whole point. Just take the nappy off let them have those first accidents and then they will realize well that's not a nice feeling maybe i should just go on the potty um so i think i think that's what helped honestly and now i don't have to prompt him anymore he just tells me when he needs to go sometimes i can see that he wants to go like he's really you know jittery because he needs to go but he's really preoccupied with the game so i can kind of tell when he needs to go even if he doesn't tell me um but for, for the most part he does say uh, when he needs to go on the potty oh one more thing he was really reluctant at first to go on the potty um for number twos i'm not sure why i think it's just you know a bit more strange for them he still wears a nappy at uh, bedtime so when he's asleep he gets a nappy both at nap time and um, during the night um and the thing with the number two is he would just wait until the evening um, so I would put a nappy on him and then he would go number two So that's what he did for the first few days and then afterwards I think he got a lot more confident on the potty and he started going for that as well So um, I think it's just giving them time to process everything because it's a big change in their life Also when we go outside now for our daily walk, uh, we don't put a nappy on him I put a nappy on him the first I think the first couple of days when we went outside just because I was nervous about it um, But he was fine and I noticed when we got back home the nappy was completely dry um, So I just decided to go nappy free and he hasn't had an accident outside I just kind of prompt him uh, before going outside I just put him on the potty make sure he has a wee and then we can go out um, we all, only go out for like half an hour anyway because we're obviously in lockdown but yeah that's been working really well so far and our next step is going to be um, potty training on the big toilet I think he's gonna be fine with that too but for now he's really good on the small potty so I'm just feeling really proud of him I honestly didn't expect it to happen so fast I think he got it really really fast 
um, and I think that's because he was ready for that. I hope this was a little bit helpful if you are uh, getting started in your potty training journey. Um, I am rooting for you. I know you can do it. <laughs> it seems, I think it seems like such a daunting task at first getting them used on the toilet and just taking the nappy off. I just felt so weird in the beginning and so nervous about it, but it does get a lot easier after the first two, three days, I would say. So just hang in there if you're uh, potty training, um, message me if you need to have a chat about it. And I hope this was a little bit helpful in your uh, potty training journey. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.